I chat? There we go. That's how I make noise. Hold on. If I do this, okay. But can I hear anything? Yes, I can. And now you can hear anything. And I can play a video game. All right. We have figured it out. All right. So we have a big day today. So let's get moving. But first, I want to catch everybody up. I have a fancy pickaxe now. Uh, these are all empty, right? Cool. So I'm going to grab all of these. So today, we are building a trading hall. Uh, we have already gone to the village on Thursday and got a couple traders set up, mostly because we I desperately wanted to get a mending book. So we have done that. So I now have a mending pickaxe and a mending shovel. And I'll also show you my fancy mending sword that I keep down by the spiders. Oh no, not a headache. I hope you feel better soon, Iris. Have a good lurk. We have a we have a whole we have a whole command for that now. Uh okay, so we are going to need stone cutter we're going to need our bed this can go away let's take a couple extra chests we already have crafting table at the village we're going to take a bunch of this stuff this can go in here Should smelt this stuff up. Eh, it doesn't matter. Don't need to right now. Although I am going to take... ...10 iron? I'll take 10 iron, just in case. I need, them. I need them for anything. I might need to make lanterns, so... All right. Grab these and just grab... ...a bunch of this stone. And we'll also grab some dirt, just for fun. Grab a couple stacks of dirt. And then grab a couple stacks of cobble. And... Stack of wood. I'm sure we can find... Use for oak somehow. Hey, Madam Jund. Hello. Rooted dirt. Rooted dirt? Why the heck? Is that one of the new, um, the new Lush Cave uh, features? I don't think I've ever seen rooted dirt before. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Before we go, I'm just going to show you uh, the spider farm really quickly. Yes, everybody's doing well. Look, I have a fancy sword. It, it, it works very well with the spider killing and all that. Kills them spiders, what good? So why? Oh. Because my inventory is full, that's why I'm not picking those up. Okay. That's enough silliness.
Vein of Arthropods works really well on that. That was a random enchant too. I went uh I went for the top tier enchant because it had unbreaking. It's like, ooh, that'll be good with mending. And then I also got Bane of Arthropods. So everything worked out better than expected. All right. Also, if you weren't here on Thursday, uh, you will notice that I have now blazed a trail uh, to our village, which is going to be important because we are going to be heading out there for the time being to do our trading rather than bringing villagers here. I will be bringing villagers here eventually. It's just, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass and I don't want to do that. Yeah. No, boat. In boat. Ah, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having good good times. All having a nice weekend. Hello, Persephone. Ooh, you have your photo album up, up to current. Nice. It's been 35 degrees all day. Ugh. Yuck. Yeah, so I just sort of spent some time off camera and made this trail through here that you will see gets more ambitious as I went along. Eventually, I do plan on smoothing this out and making one long trail. Ooh, there's llamas up there uh, that will allow us to get villagers back to our base because I do eventually want to have them there. It's just a lot of work and I didn't want to do that um, until I had a mending tool and a good source of XP uh, because it's just going to be a lot. So, we have set up a chunk. You'll see when we get there. That we are going to be building our trading hall on. And then... It is also going to serve as like a prototype for what we are going to do with the rest of our chunks. So the ring around the first set of chunks that I'm digging right now that's going to be where we keep all of our infrastructure. We're going to keep our traders and our nether portal and all of that stuff there. And uh, once we get to the village, I have some examples to show you of sort of what we're going to be dealing with. Hey, bad panda bear. High on my list of things to do is dig a tunnel through this mountain in particular. Also, you will see this is why I did not want to move the villagers. Uh, because this is real crap terrain. Like, this is not, this would not be fun to try and boat a villager across.
All right, we're almost there. We're probably going to end up moving this bridge just because the plan is for the trading hall to go right here. So just so it doesn't look as weird, we're probably going to take this bridge out or maybe just drop it down. I don't know. That's, that's a future Erica problem. All right. So... For starters, let's move you out of the chunk. You over here, and then we'll also... Dang, this is a good shovel. We've got a bunch of stuff here already, so... So we're just going to shave these down a little bit. Get these out. Okay. So. Does a late Brave New Faves mean an extra hour of stream? Is Brave New Faves going to be late? I'm probably not streaming. When, when, when is it supposed to go up? How can it be any later? Um, okay, so the plan for this 1030, probably not. I'm probably not streaming until 1030. I will, I will die. Oh, hey, Sarah. Uh, okay, so the plan for this season uh, the the inter um, the architectural form that we are going to be very familiar with by the end of this is a little thing I like to call the basilica, and also the Romans like to call it that. So we got a bunch of examples here. Um, basically, what you are looking at with a basilica is listen. I'm talking here. Yes, Persephone. Um, you'll probably be familiar with the basilica structure if you've ever been in an early church. Even modern church uh, structures, most like up until about the 20th century, a lot of cathedrals were still generally based on a basilica floor plan. It originally, it actually originated as a Roman uh, public building. Uh, they would be where high-ranking officials would sort of meet clients and hold audiences and things like that. So you have a basic form. You have an aisle, uh, or sorry, a nave in the center, uh, and two aisles on either side with columns running down between them. Uh, and then above that, there's sort of an extra story above the nave uh, that usually has windows in it. Uh, if you see in, this is a good example here. Uh, you can see there's this sort of angled roof and then there's a, an extra row of windows up top. Uh, this is called a Clara story. Uh, and you can see it again in this. Uh, you sort of have the central nave and then they sometimes have uh, more gothic style will have a buttressed uh, on the upper story as well. 
So I really like the, this one. As sort of, because it's this is a smaller one. This is a church in Syria, I believe. Yes, it's a Byzantine church from Syria, um, and I I liked the idea of this form. I think it would be fun. I forgot to grab copper. I'm gonna have to go back for copper because we're gonna give these things copper roofs. And so the plan, uh, in the And the base is for this to run the whole length around this first ring of chunks that we're going to punch with sort of large sort of set piece buildings on each corner and these long sort of arcaded uh, hallways, uh, the naves running between them. Um, and I think it's going to look very cool and give us a lot of space to work with and sort of like a cohesive uh, architectural form that sort of ties the whole base together. Um, so I'm very excited for it. And so this one, I think, is what I'm going to use sort of as my base for what I'm doing here, because it's nice and small, and I think we can sort of do something, and I'm going to remember to turn the example off, and I think we can do something with that. So for starters, let's grab some cobble. And we'll grab some dirt as well. And so the idea is that we plan to have uh, little pockets in the aisles where the uh, villagers are going to be. And so they're going to act as uh, trade hubs. Actually, let's just grab dirt to start with. And try and figure out our spacing. So if we go, where's the center here? OK. Let's say we're going to have a set of double doors here as our entrance. We are probably going to want Hey, this is the outside wall, and we'll have our columns run down. Maybe not that close. Sort of like this. And that gives us one, two, three spaces back here. Okay. Same thing if we do that over here. Set up these as our back corners and a back corner here. We can even push this all the way to the back. Have the back wall just be right at the edge of the chunk. Okay. The question is, how tall do we want this to be? We, we want the Clara story to be fairly tall, so we can put windows in it. It's also going to have a peaked roof, but I don't want. So this central nave is one, two, three, four across. And the outer walls of the upper story are going to line up with the, if you look at it, see it lines up with the central Columns, or the columns that run uh, along the aisles. Let me see that again in this one here. I spent a lot of time looking at pictures of basilicas today. <laughs> Lots of good examples. So that would give us. OK, 
Okay. I think this will work. I like this layout. Now I just need to figure out what to build it out of. I, I learned from last season that having... Um, Having reference photos helps me out a great deal. Let's start by grabbing a bunch of these. Let's start with some stone brick blocks. Because we can also make stone brick walls to add texture and stairs. Because we are going to want to try and create some arches. I think arches are going to be really important. Turn that off. Do, 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 do. Just remember you purchase some uh, James Punch a Chunk plans from last season. Don't know if they successfully received it or not. I don't. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if those have shipped yet or not. I think he was still in the process of that. But maybe he shipped them by now. I don't know. What if I make... Also, we are going to replace this floor. I just haven't decided what we're going to replace it with yet. Now, we have to be careful with these. Because we are likely to use... We do this to create our sort of, like, villager villager stalls like we did last season I think that could work I do also want to how do these line up I do also want to have windows along the back so what if hey Pharaoh Bender I should have brought some glass. Or go with me on this journey. What if I just made glass here? What if I didn't bring any coal to make glass here? What if I just didn't bring any coal? Well, there's some. Hello, Iron Golem. I mean, we don't have a shortage of sand. Now that we can get out here, we're, we should be good for sand.
Okay. I sleep. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So, I definitely want the corners here. Now, I also have to figure out how tall I want this thing to be. So let's say I go up, this would be five up, and the Clara story would be Another four above that? No, that maybe just another three, two or three above three? Hmm. Maybe I want to go higher than that. Maybe I want to go up to five here. I do want this to be fairly big and impressive. Oops, nope. Okay, so. That was one too many. One more. One more. There we go. Okay. This one's definitely wider. Hmm. Maybe I want them to be... Looking at this, it kind of looks like... What about this one? That's a more gothic one, but... looking at So looking at this example, it looks like it's kind of just three sets of squares. The upper, the nave's a little bit wider than the aisles, which makes sense. That's what we have here. Because these are one, two, three, and this is four. So if we go. It looks like the upper story wants to be about the same height as the aisles in the first story. So that means we're going to be looking at, hold on. We're gonna want it to be about three. I do think we knocked these down one. Yeah. 
two, three. Okay. Hit this corner as well. One, two, four. Modeling our training trading hall in a German cathedral. Um, not quite. Well, a Roman basilica, which a German cathedral is modeled on. So, ow. So this one, which one is this? Yeah, I think that one's actually a German one. We are falling. We haven't re. We haven't re-rolled the holes today. Oops. Cap locks. We are not falling in holes today. We're just falling off walls. It's fine. Everything's cool. Uh, let's grab some more. Actually, we're just gonna need a whole bunch of stone brick walls. I think. We're going to texture this up later. I just want to get the basic sort of beats down of what this thing is going to look like. Oops. Actually, that's fine. There and there. Yes. This, there, there. And we are going to have, like, some space at the back here. We could maybe put it in another trading stall. Or we could just leave it. I don't know what I want to do with the back wall just yet. Maybe we'll just make nice big windows. We can make it look sort of like the back of this thing with the multiple windows going on there. That's an option. Let's get more of an outline going here. No, I'm I'm duting incredibly incorrectly today. Oh, I bet Brave New Faves is going to be late because of the ice cream thing. All right, now.
Hmm. Right. Right, that's what we need to do. We need to arch. Th so we're actually probably going to take these off. Ow. Trader booths. Uh, yeah. Yep. Is this the Constantine Basilica in Trier by any chance? Possibly. Hey, Virgil. Probably. Listen, I looked at a lot of basilicas today and grabbed a lot of images from Wikipedia. So... Uh, there, there is a good fact that it is indeed... The Constantine Basilica. I need stairs. Do I have stairs in here? No. Two, grab some slabs while I'm at it. Sure, go to sleep. Can't go to sleep yet. This is good content definite differentiation. Not many other Twitch chats are going to be Basilica chat. I I like to think that's the um, that's the thing that I bring to this. That a lot of people are going to build fancy things. I am going to build fancy things based on real world fancy things. Hey, Nambra. You like that? And then. A bit of dirt here, just as like something to back on to. Does this work? No. Doesn't line up. But maybe, what if... Any more... Here we are. We get one of you here, and then you... That sort of forms like a half arch. And if we go over here, if we go over here and not fall down, like that, and then we can go like this, and like this. That's not bad. Is there a way we can make it more pronounced? Is 
Because I don't hate it. But I feel like we could get it more... Ah, it's a reconstruction of the cathedral in Constance, Germany, before it got redone in Gothic style. Ah, there we go. Because I don't think I'm, I'm not really getting like arch from this. What if we don't have a lot of, these are only too wide, so that's tricky to work with. But what if, okay, take these out. Hmm. No, that's not. Hold on. If we, hmm, do we make these one wider? Like if we make these all three wide, what does that look like? We'll leave this one here as like a base. Two, three. Then one, two. Three. Would be on the back wall here. Okay, so now let's put you back in there, put you there. And so let's go with that and like this, and then where's our slabs? Get a slab there. Okay, that's starting to look more like an arch. We're going to have to get like extra slabs and stuff on there to fill it out, but. We go like this and this, then. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is all going to be... I can build mo- mm, excuse me. I'm pretty sure I can make mossy stone bricks. I don't think I can make cracked stone bricks though. Maybe I can. I don't think I can. I think that's just another brick thing. Which is a nice bit of texture detail that I really like. I'm probably going to have to mix up some of these materials just to give it a little bit more texture, because right now this is all literally exactly the same thing. And that's not it. I want to mix it up a little bit because I think it will be very boring otherwise. Right now I'm basically just trying to get the 
sort of basic form of the building. You can smelt stone bricks to make crack stone bricks. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that follow. Oh, hey, Pix. We'll go like this, and then... Especially when we do this at our base, we're going to have a lot more options to choose from in terms of building materials, and we can even mix it up. Oh, I'm sorry you can't sleep. Well, luckily, you have good chill Minecraft to watch that will hopefully help? Question marked? There. How do we wait? What's going on here? Uh, that that ain't right. There we go. Hmm. Okay. How do we feel about this chat? I'm sort of. I'm a little bit medium on it. I like the three spacing because it means I can have a single window behind each of these stalls, which I'm going to like. Big fan of that. I'm just not sure that the arches are quite doing what I want them to do just yet. Airbender. Thank you so much for gifting that uh, sub to Mangle Pixel. Mangle Pixel, please enjoy your doot and your Persephone and your B and your thumbs up and your heart fox heart. Okay. Let's get this side. I like the three spacing, so I'm going to get this side to line up with that. Oops. Nope. One of those.
days now. Hey, okay. You know what? Maybe actually what I want. I might want these to be full blocks. Then I can do. Windows like this? Where's my glass? We go like Hmm That's not bad. Glass is tricky because there isn't a great way to make it um There isn't a, a great way to make like arched windows when you're doing it this narrow. You would have to do it a lot wider. Mind you, we could, we don't have silk touch on anything, do we? No, remind me to get my silk touch ax when I go back. I don't know. I think it's I think I like the narrower windows. I just wish I could make them arched. Because I think that would fit with the aesthetic better. I'm gonna leave that now, because I don't want to break my precious, precious glass. Okay. Let's get the rest of this stuff in here. This ends up being four wide. So do we go like this in the corner? Maybe? We'll see. Try that. More. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Spent a lot of times trying to make things not square in Minecraft.
I was talking about this in somebody else's stream. I spend a lot of my time in Minecraft cursing the fact that I'm stuck to this grid, and I spend a lot of time in other games trying to make sure everything adheres to a grid. And we'll get this one here. Now, let's see. How does this all... More slabs. Okay. Is this giving the feel that I want from it? You know what? I think it kind of is. Oh, Chad, I like this. I think it, I think this is doing it for me. Okay. All right, I think this is doing it for me. So now we're not going to worry about the roofs at the moment. Cuz what I kind of want to do is roof this over with copper. So now we need to fall down. Also, these poor, there's like two villagers in this house, and it's like, you poor fools. You poor souls. Let's go around here. Nope. All right, now we go to sleep. Ow. <sighs> How does this window look from the outside? Yeah, I'm not feeling this window. Definitely going to have to change that. Find more coal around here. Hi, kitty. Your kitten's having a bad time. Is there any on these cliff faces here? These might We might be too high up to get coal. What about down here? Now, now I'm just getting off track. Eh, I'm not going to go down there to get... Yeah, you know what? Don't think I'm going to go deal with that. Although, crime of opportunity. We did say we needed copper, so... So 
this also this village spawned on some really weird terrain. Wow. Nightbot is putting in work today. MVP of the stream, every stream, Nightbot. Sorry, dishwasher. Isn't going to be enough. No. No. Okay. Take a few more of those. I'm just trying to even this out because of the. Uh, Okay. Okay. So now if we have a look at some of these. We're going to have a bit of a slanted roof, and then the windows will be above that. So we're going to need probably another row of stone bricks here. And then we can put the, the windows on top of this. We'll have to figure out what to do with the roof later. Because if we go like slab, slab, top slab, bottom slab, hmm. Slap on top of this. Do we have to go up another? No, that won't work at all because then Maybe we do have to go up one more. It's going to be very tall, but maybe that's okay. Chad, is it okay if it's very tall? I think it's okay if it's very tall. We still have to put a roof on top of this. Hmm. Sarah says it's okay if it's very tall. All right. You see, um, you, some, one of these days, okay, I've been doing this for how long have I been doing this? Five months? By month six, half, half, year, half a year doing this, I will probably remember to turn those off. I'm getting very close. So let's go up, because what we can do there are sometimes architectural features uh, well, they'll create like sort of a false arcade like along here. They'll have like little tiny columns that makes it look like uh, probably on like this level here just to give like a bit of texture to it. But we can figure that out. We can figure it out. We'll get there. Okay. 
and then we'll go slab, 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 fall down. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, I need slabs of a different material so I can tell them apart. Cobble. I have cobble. Did I math wrong? Chat, I'm, I fear I may have math wrong. So we'll do that, and then that, and then that, and then that? Okay, I think that's a good angle. And then we'll have you. This is nice and convenient now. Hmm. These are very, like, if we're going with this as an example, it has very small windows that are pretty closely spaced. We sort of go like this. Wait, hold on a second. Let me very slowly make my way back here. Um... No, I did this wrong. I should be starting them here. Go like this. It doesn't line, it doesn't work either way. Now, is there a way? You know what? I need I I need scaffolding at this point. I'm 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 glad people are getting good use out of the lurk command. Although I do not believe anybody has yet to unlurk. And I, I, I went through all of the trouble of looking up the exact wording of the reference that I use for the unlurk command. There it is. Oh, look, and I mistyped it. Good job, B. <laughs> Okay, how does this look? Okay, okay. I like it. Fix the capital T, thank you. 
Yo, pro streamer tip. Find you some mods that are more competent than you. Wait, hold on, I just had an idea. Do we go... What happens if we go up one? Mm. <laughs> IT's time to conquer the earth. Uh... Is that too... I think that's too chunky. Plus this makes things a little bit more level. Yes. Uh, I need a few more slabs. Hey, Margie, Margie. I'm not sure if you were here earlier. I just noticed you now. I have seen you. Hello. I've given you the compliment that annoys me most on the internet. It's like, you're seen. It's like, I... Thanks? Ooh, melon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we just need to put a roof on this thing. Let's have a look at this. That one doesn't have a roof. This is more gothic. This one... Is it a steeper angle than the ones below it? So maybe just classic, classic stairs work for that. Make some cobble stairs just to give us uh, an idea. Oh. Someday I will be free of my nemesis, Minecraft stairs. Okay. I think that's a good shape. 
I want to replace that with copper. I'm going to need a lot of copper. Okay. Um, let's dump a bunch of our stuff. You back. Because we're going to run back to the base. Keeping this copper. No, I can dump this. That. I'm going to grab boat and bed. Let's go. I'm probably going to have to sleep on the way, but that's fine. So we're going to run back, get a bunch of copper, and then get our silk touch axe. So we can do start doing some window work. It's going to be a lot easier uh, doing window work if we don't have to keep running out of it. Computers are just rocks we tricked into thinking. And stuck LEDs in. Also, I need some more food. I'm almost through my steak. Rocks with RGB. Yep. Ever worry that these rocks will realize we've tricked them and take vengeance? No? See, the thing is, is that I like to think once the rocks and think for themselves, then they'll be like, cool, thanks for teaching us how to think. And we have rights now. That's neat. A waterfall coming out of a cave? I like it. What time is it? Oh, wow, it's 7.30 already. Oh. The thinking rocks will be our children. I worry we won't be good parents. Ah, pff, that doesn't sound like people. When have people ever mistreated the people that do work for them? Oh yeah, always. My first boss at a microchip company called Microprocessors, the most expensive real estate on the planet. Hmm.
All right, I sleep. <sighs> okay. So before we go back, sure, grab that. You can go in here. Go in here. Grab a couple things of coal. Grab a stack of glass. We'll grab a silk touch axe. We'll keep other axe. Copper. Get all of you. And all of you. All right, is there anything else we needed while we were here? I don't think we need any more stone at the moment. We might later, but for right now, I think we're okay. A chunk of silicone wafer ingot would be a nice display piece. How much would that cost? Like, out of curiosity. I think the thing about a, uh, a silicone ingot is that you'd be like, hey, look, it's a silicone ingot. And people would be like, that's neat. It was really expensive. Cool. How expensive? This expensive. It's like, okay. That's neat. I bet it looks neat. Are you kidding me? Maybe I should just make that a channel points reward. Make an audio clip of somebody saying, your, your example's still on screen. That was up there for a very long time, too. I'm so upset. Can sound alerts be tied to channel points? I don't want to mess around with sound alerts. Are you kidding me? Yep, sure was just a whole other village that's 
um, significantly closer to my base. Sure, sure was. A lot of farmers here. I like the look of desert villages. I like their design. Oh. So there's only one thing to do. You need a cartographer. Child jumping in the dark. I'm not gonna take their food. Yet. Even even got a ready-made mason. This is a huge village, too. Just absolutely massive. It's in here. Hmm. I'm getting very distracted. Mostly I'm just trying to cool down from being upset that I left that image up on screen for so long. All right, that's the butcher. Never mind, I am going to take their food. All right, okay. Well. So today we learned that I am blind and did not see this village that was right here. Although, honestly, now that I know that's here, when it comes time to actually grab villagers, that might be where I grab them from. Just because that's going to be, you know, save me 800 blocks of distance to get them, so. We fey folk now. Yes, that's a much better way to put it than kidnappers. <sighs> okay. So we're going to get back. We're going to start smelting up some copper. And then we have to figure out windows. And what we want to do there. I don't think we're going to put glass in the upper windows. I don't think we need to. I don't think there's any reason to. I can yeah. mm. Sorry. Weird hitch in my throat. I am probably going to put lights 
up there simply because I want to light up the roof, I think. Because I'm pretty sure... Can, can mobs spawn on copper? Pretty sure they can. I don't think there's any reason they wouldn't. They're certainly not going to spawn on some of the slabs, the bottom slabs, but the top slabs they should. I'm already liking the way this looks. All right, step one. Uh, let's get you smelting. Eight, eight, eight. There we go. There we go. Go. And there we go. Yeah. Just be seven for this, I think. Yes. All right, we'll let those go for a little bit. Until then, a bunch of these. This can go in here, this can go in here, this can go in here. Yep, yep. And... Oh, it can go in here. I think that looks much better. Uh, I'm gonna put walls in here. seven of these. Do I have more? How did I end up with seven of these? That's weird. Oh well. Do I have more in here? Did I break some? Am I blind? There they are. Need more fences. Okay. Get some more of these. Actually, I should just make these out of stone to rip. Out of stone directly. There we go.
be kind of interested if copper did block them from spawning only because something like that is why ships in the 19th century often had their underwater plate parts plated with copper i mean i'm pretty sure copper has some natural uh antibacterial properties as well more of those and am i gonna need one more of these yes yes i am chad okay so i'm gonna make more anyways because i'm definitely gonna need them window and there okay how does this look doing okay everything cool in here yeah also this guy's going to be such a pain to level up <laughs> because i can't sell him paper Okay. Yeah, I think I'm fine leaving the door here. What do I want to do on the front? Yeah, I'm definitely going to add like a little false arcade up there. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'll, I believe in me. Okay. So, the interesting thing about this design is that the roofs are usually flush with the front and back. Can't really see it in here. Or that one. This is the one that really only shows it quite well. which will be interesting. Ow! So what does it look like when we go... This is all going to come out. Oh. We'll figure out what to do on the inside of the roof. We might add wooden ceiling beams up there, like underneath the roofs. I think that might look good. And add, you know, at least one extra block to this build palette, which so far is a touch lacking.
Erica needs to be careful with that cup. It apparently kills 99.9% .9 of E. coli in one and a half hours. Oh no. Finally, my true nemesis has arrived. Uh, where's my copper? There. Uh, so if we go over here, we can use this, right? Yes. Okay. Let's make a few cut copper slabs just to play around with. We'll go there. And then there, and then there, and then there. And then we'll fill this in with... Right! I just remembered. You can't mix. You can't mix slabs. Why do I always forget that? Okay. So what do we do instead? because it feels more intuitive to be able to. Yeah, that's probably true. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. I said I was going to take a break, and I didn't. Okay. While I think about this, let's take a break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, stretch, get some water, go to the bathroom, all that good stuff. Uh, hold tight, chat.
Okay, I'm back. Also, I have chips. Okay. Okay. I wanted to... I felt like this was too flat anyways. Like, that's just a lot of stone brick. So we could hide the roof somehow. Hello, Persephone. Hold on a second. Yes, there's my cat in my lap. So if we find a way to hide this... So like we move the, the actual copper part back one so it's in this row and then this is something else. Because the only other option is to go and fall down and go over here. Make a couple more of these. And to go like that? Or maybe if you put a copper block behind those caps so there's some inset bits? Hmm. I got to give squishes to a cat with an excellent name the other day, Loki. It's a good name for a cat. It's a very good name for a cat. <laughs> Extremely good name for a cat. There we go. Yes. No? Yes. There we go. I'm pretty sure I just moved it back. <laughs> Yeah, what if we do we get a couple of co copper blocks? Stephanie. Go like this. Maybe take and you out. <laughs> can confirm asking a cat so what was your nexus event gets you weird looks from people who haven't been watching loki series yeah i can see that
going? Hey. Could also be stone instead of copper if the balance feels off. Well, the problem is that I also need like this entire roof to be copper. So we would then run into the same problems of, of not being able to uh, mix slabs. So I think this might be the best solution. Although what if I do, oops, no. How does this look? If I leave off like that. That gonna look weird. No, I think I do want that that one to be at the bottom there. Because it doesn't it doesn't feel like it works the other way. But yeah. Okay. We're probably going to do something down here anyways. And with all of this, Because this isn't just going to be like a solid face of stone anyways, so. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. And go up and do some on the other side here. That's not, that is not either of the things that I want. This was slab, 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 and full block, slabs, full block. Hey, Enderman. Okay. I like that little bit of depth that it adds. Stephanie, hello. Yes, you're waking up. Now, let's go. Now that we have that. Hold on a second, chat. I love the sound of you walking on copper. I love the little clink. Need you. No. I need you. 
we're gonna go like this. This. I suppose it would help if I actually made copper stairs first. Turns out it's easier to build if you actually make the materials that you need first and then go to try build with them. Just a little pro Minecraft tip from a uh, pro Minecraft streamer. Um, real, real professional over here. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to figure out what we're doing on the inside of that upper story arch. We could put in more little windows or stuff like that. Hello, Persephone. But overall, I think I like that. We could make it a very large arched window in there. Hey, Sevenish Magpies. Okay. So let's say that's what we're going to do for the roof. Which means we know what that is. So what else do we need to do as well? So that'll fill, pretty much fill in that upper part. We still need these front and back walls. What happens if I just put a big old window in here? What does that look like? No, I actually think I want this to be a bigger old window. Like this and like this? Not like the easiest place to view uh, these things from, what with the having to walk through this field. Okay, I think I like the bigger window there. And then we can do that again on this side. Okay, now what are we going to do around back here? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oop. Don't 
throw the bricks. Uh, okay, first of all, I think I need to put something in here to di divide this up a little bit. Then, here, I don't have room for windows. I don't know if I want to just brick these up, though. But maybe that makes sense. Because I've got space here to work with. This whole thing is going to be one... One big space. So like we could do... Hold on a second. I need to look something up. I've done this before. A better screenshot. Hey, GNM. We've kind of done this sort of thing before, last season. With the net with the nether abbey. We did kind of make sort of like a rose window type of thing. Hello again, Persephone. Hmm, there's something that we can do with that. All right, that's how I sort of did it. At the... Right, I had like made windows. I put a slab on top of a fence and then had, um, Stairs on either side of it. Yeah, do you want to lie down? You should lie down. The problem is she's not sleepy. She is, in fact, very active. Thanks for that follow. You like the tra you like train hall? I'm glad. Okay. It is very fancy. Uh, it's based on a it's based on a basilica plan. Really stop jumping on these people's crops. It looks like an abandoned church ruin currently. I mean, the basilica is the basic like early church form, so that makes an amount of sense. more stairs stone block stairs at all yes okay go like this and like that the problem though is that if I want to put glass in here, and I do want to put glass in here, basically I just don't want mobs being able to jump in through the windows, then that leaves a little tiny space up there that we can't fill in. 
Hmm. What if? Okay. Do this. Need more of these. Nope. Let's take you and you out. You out. You, you. that there. Hmm. What if we go down one? How do we feel about this? Okay. I like that a little bit better. Well, not perfect, but I like it a little bit better. I'm going to bed. I sleep. Where is... Okay, let's take a look at this one. Reminded me of my favorite place in my travels in England, Tintern Abbey. I'm not familiar with that abbey. I might have to look it up. I do love... Uh, <laughs> my, my love of ecclesiastical architecture is well-founded on this stream, I feel. So if we were going with something like that... I don't think we can do the three space windows that they have in here because this is only four across. Uh, it's even kind of tricky to do two. Okay. I think we might leave this and then we're going to figure out something we can do for big windows up top. And we have already established, okay. So go with me on this journey. We have already established that the upper levels don't have glass in them. So if we're not putting glass in the upper levels, that gives us a bit of leeway. We could make something like the rose window we put above this the Nether Abbey.
There's probably some deep symbolism in trapping villagers in a church for the sake of capitalism. I... Okay, reminder. While the basilica was used as the form for modern churches, it started as a uh, Roman public uh, forum. Genie or Farabender, thank you for gifting that sub to Genie M. Also, I don't think the symbolism of trapping villagers in a church for capitalism is actually all that deep. <laughs> I think... this up again. Zoom this in a little bit. I don't remember how I went about this. It looks like right. I had like which back stairs on one side. Stairs, stairs, and then right. It was just a bunch of stairs. It's all just stairs. Yeah, it's just stairs. Hey, Erica, what block do you hate in Minecraft the most? Oh, definitely stairs. They're such a pain to place. What do you use in your um, builds the most? Stairs. We go like this, like this. Uh, like this, like this, like that, that, then. That's just like this and this. No. No. Come on. Okay. I like the way that looks. Yeah. I gotta fill in the bottom here with something. But I think that's pretty easy. Like we can just go like this, this, then walls, I think. Okay. Mm. Is there a way? Let me try. I'm going to try something. This is going to look ugly from this side until I cover it up. But I think if I go like Uh 
Oh, that doesn't really show up very well at all. But, hmm. I was hoping that was going to be more pronounced. Now it just kind of looks wibbly. It looks wibbly, right, chat? What does it look like? What happens if I do this? Ow. It looks like a rendering error. It really does. I was hoping it would give it more of like a columned appearance, but it doesn't doesn't quite work. You want to take this down, get a better look at the whole facade. Actually, what ha what if, what if put some of these back? Is this look? Uh, from near in the side, it looks like it should. Yeah. Okay, how does this look if I extend that a little bit? I like that a little bit better. Okay. That looks better if I don't try and cheat it. Like if I just use the natural, don't throw my pickaxe. Um, if I just use like the natural place where the walls meet anyways, it looks a little bit better. Now, here's a thought. Let's try something else. But with this, you broke the main column of the build. I don't think so. Kind of. Well, I'm probably taking this out anyway, so. Because I had a thought, what if I try and make this bigger? Can I make this, ow, window bigger? Not tonight, I'm going to bed.
So to do this, I want to make this win the circular window up here bigger. Which means I have to drop it down one. We go and take this out. This, this. Is this gonna work? Where are my stairs? There they are. Now, uh, then we're running into the side there still. Okay, I do like dropping it down. The worst part is, is that because of the bricks and the way things, the, the texture blends together, it looks like I could make it bigger. Okay, let's just take out Let's just take out the stairs for now and see what we're working with. Take out the stairs and that means all of them. there a way that we could do this? Could we do this with slabs? Will that work? Or will this just look silly? It'll look silly if I don't have enough slabs. Are people still are people still setting off fireworks? I don't think this is working. I think when it comes to Minecraft, there's a limit to what we can do. But what if mm, I'm going to crack this and I know I will I can do this chat. I can do this. I believe in me. I'm so torn on fireworks. I know they're really hard on a lot of people and pets and stuff like that. But I also really enjoy them. I love a good fireworks display. But it really does need to be like... something that you should be able to opt into. Yeah, I'm going to allow that.
And like you can do professional displays like away from people. Actually, you know what? What if I just re I just remake everything I had done before? Actually, something super cool. My gluten-free and I spent fourth in Chicago watching fireworks from the 96th floor. That sounds dope. <laughs> that sounds amazing. And the other thing about like having like professional displays is that you can also do them in places that are like away. <laughs> you can do them in parks or um you know, you can do them a little ways out of town. We got there. Okay. 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 Middle of a lake. Mm-hmm. So, what I want to do underneath here... I want to do something here. I think what I want to do is... Upside down stairs. See how this looks. Finally, slabs working in my favor. Also, there's a spider around here somewhere. I don't need more spiders. I have spiders at home. Suddenly spider. Sounds like the worst like prank show ever. Um, okay. I don't think it needs to go all the way across. I take out this one. This one. How does this look? I think I gotta tighten it up one more, but I'll do that uh, in the morning. There we go.
sure I haven't dropped any materials around. I think we're good. This looks really good from in here too. gonna do, do, do a one of these no no we might just have to put a gate here because i don't think we're i don't want to i'd like to put a door but doors are very limited in this in this game okay It looks like it looks like a cyclops. It has one giant eye and then like a straight line at the mouth. You know the emoji that's like just yeah, cyclops is not amused. I broke it up a little. That's a little better. It looks less like a cyclops now. Those are all stairs, so stuff can't spawn right in the middle of our window. I like. Now it's an upside down face. Yes. It's a combination eyes, like closed and Put the indents over the window parts. Yeah? That might work. I feel like this, this. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Okay. That's just Paul. You know what? I'm gonna I'm leaving it. All right. Now we do it again. Uh, I'm gonna need more stairs. Uh, what can I put away? This away. This I don't need. This, nope, this I don't need. I do need these. These, don't need these. Need some more stairs.
Actually, what I should do... is make, uh, let's see, I'm gonna need six of these, and then I need, that should be enough of that, and more of those, okay. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to need it. Aha, perfect. Okay. So, we'll come back over here. Why? I need more dirt. Need more dirt. <laughs> Didn't go all the way around. Copper blocks that we need. Nope. There. 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 And there. Okay. Now let's see if I can remember how I did this. <laughs> And like this and like this. No. That, that, and then there was a space, and then this, and this, and then that and that. Did I do it? Did I win, chat? I think I won. Ah! I have beaten Minecraft. Hi, kitty. I unlocked the most important achievement in Minecraft. I have made a circle. Truly, I have done the impossible. I think we got there. All right. Now, I'm going to go to sleep when I can, or then.
Jestli. Okay, now. Now we just need to get a roof on this thing. Now we need to get part of a roof on th this thing because we do not have anywhere near enough copper. Oh my god. Copper is such an expensive building block. If I make like 32 of these. Now, it is very pretty, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very pretty. That's the correct way to do that, right? Yes, it is the correct way to do that. I just haven't finished it. And then there. And a slab. There. Okay. But then we need to go Do we cheat it now? If I just go like this. What does that look like from inside? And of course, we can always cover stuff up from inside if we don't like the way it looks. Move up these dirts. Ah, I think it'll be fine. Just double check. Hmm. You know what? I think it's fine because we're probably going to want to cover up underneath here, anyways. So we can save ourselves some copper. This is not going to be nearly enough. Oh my god.
many more do I? I need four more. Okay. Okay. Oops. Whoa. Okay. Slow down, Erica. Yeah, this looks awesome. <laughs> this looks great. And once we have the copper, the full-on copper roof on this thing, I think it's going to look amazing. Very aggressive shoveling. The only problem is um, doing this, doing half of this building, has exhausted our entire supply of copper. <laughs> not, not completely, but like, we've got 14 blocks of copper left. So, we're going to have to do something about that. There are more chunks to punch. There are always more chunks to punch. Something something monument to excess. Yes, you are correct. However... So, I'll leave that. So here's what I'm thinking. This is something that we're building as sort of a prototype. The plan is that I want, I want to have this kind of copper roof on all of the, um, all of the buildings we have back at our main base. And so, I think it's going to be too much copper. And I, this is also, you have to remember, a kind of like temporary structure. I'm kind of building this as a prototype. So what I'm actually thinking I might do is for this building specifically, just so we can get it finished um, and figure everything out, I might actually just use acacia wood instead of copper. That way we can save all of this copper and use it back at our own base because we're not going to be coming here. You could use smooth granite. I, I mean, I could, or I could just like, I could just use acacia. Like just as a, like if I had infinite resources, I would just put a copper roof on this and call it a day. But thinking from a, a standpoint of, like we're gonna have to keep coming back to this 
putting more copper into it, and for what? By the time we finish it, we're going to take our villagers out of here, or go get new villagers and just never come back here. I think it looks great. I think when we do this back at our own base, these copper roofs are going to look absolutely amazing. For here though, here in this here and now, I somehow forgot Acacia was right here. That, that's sort of why. Yeah, I think for this, for the purposes of this, let's get our regular stone axe here. Uh, let's just do it out of acacia. Also, I don't, given that it is nine o'clock already, wow. All right, well, time sure flies uh, when you're building. Uh, given that it's nine o'clock, I actually don't think we're going to finish this today. All right, have a good night, Pharaoh Bender. Thank you for the gift subs today. I, I really appreciate it. Just grab some of Not that many basilicas built in a day? No, you're probably right. Like, that's very ambitious. I mean... It is a Roman architectural form, and Romans are, of course, famous for uh, not rushing any of their building projects, often taking more than a single day to build something. That's a very bad joke to a very obscure reference, and I'm very tired right now. It's not that obscure of a reference, but still. All right. Pretty sure this should be enough. But before we start doing that, let's make some counts. So these are four, one, two, four, five, 
I can't count. Man, these are really hard to track. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Or you could just turn the chunk boundaries on. Or you could just turn the chunk boundaries on. Okay. So that's 16 by 4, that's 64. Um, plus a few extra. That's a decent start. I mean, look at this. We spent three seconds chopping down acacia trees and we've already got most of the material we need uh, to do this part of it. Oops. Mined too aggressively there. Alright. I'm gonna take a fall here and just scoop up all of this. That satisfyingly solid dink sound of copper being picked, I kinda like it. I think we got all of it. That's good. All right. Um, so grab you. Yes. That's what we wanted. And then. That's what I need. No. Ah, hell, I'll just do it this way. There. <laughs> Solve this problem. Well,
Did I? Ah, oh, dang it, I missed one. How did I... Ah, oh, I see what I did. Like that, and then like that. Okay. Alright, well... Significantly less pre pretty, significantly more cheap. We can also just go like, grab that and then get more of these. There. Didn't have it down there. I'm going to bed. I sleep. I... I sleep. I still think I'm going to go to about 9.30. I want to try and get as much of this done as possible. At the very least, I want to get roofs on it. That and there. Okay, perfect. Do 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 Nope. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I'm like too short. And a slab. Ow. Pretty sure the spider's like... No, I'm pretty sure I filled in this whole thing. I wonder where the heck that spider is. I have a whole sword for killing it and everything now. There we go. Okay. All right, let's have a look at this thing. You know what? It's not as pretty as the copper, but I still think it looks really good. And honestly, kind of blends with the build palette of the rest of the town. 
Okay, so now we are going to need, this is 16 long stack and a half of stairs. Oops. Our villager captives are independent contractors. We'll feel right at home. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect, perfect. Acacia is my fa your favorite wood color type. I like it too. There's a reason I used so much of it uh, last season. Actually, am I going to need these? You know what? I'm going to put these in anyways. I'm just going to make placing stairs a lot easier. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to take out, but I think that's fine. Oops, nope. Do, 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 do. How are you? How's chat doing? Chat, regale me with something. What's a question? Chat, do you have any questions? What do you want to know about your fellow chat people? I'm just going to be placing stairs until I wither away and die, so. Should I buy powdered balsamic vinegar? Uh, why did they powder balsamic vinegar? Oh, it was like, why do I have extra stairs? Because you missed a part of the frickin' roof. Like... I'm I'm curious the purpose behind this because normally you do something powdered like that, like you dehydrate it to preserve it. Um, but vinegar is generally not something you're terribly worried about preserving. I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well.
I think re I think for dry applications, vinegar without wet, like a. Like seasoning, I guess. Like I've had balsamic flavored chips before. So I guess that's what it would be for. I think I think the answer we have come to is yes, you should absolutely definitely buy powdered balsamic and report back. I maybe wouldn't buy like a ton of it. But now I'm now I I'm curious. Okay, now that we have this roof on here, uh let's get Torches in here because we don't want mobs spawning. There we go. That should be good. We're making excellent sweet and sour popcorn seasoning. This would just be. I had no answer to three red dragons in a row. Woof. I sleep. One of the both balsamic flavored popcorn seasoning. Now I now I want to try that. That actually sounds really good. Okay, okay, I think we're getting somewhere with this. Do we need something? Hmm. I was gonna say, do we need something in these windows? Because right now they do just seem like Big voids. Which, yes, I know that is technically what a window is. Um, but the fact that they're just sort of like big and empty, I feel isn't quite getting the look that I want from it. Also, yeah, I definitely need to do something along these walls here. A little extra, like, um... How much space do I have to work with here? Here we go. Hmm. These are slabs. Stairs. I guess they don't have to be. I. Mm. What if I did these as like? If I went over here, take you out. Yeah, you were technically two slabs. What if, let's try this. How does that look? Yeah, I could put in a few of those. Just above each of the columns. Just to give a bit of a... Uh, I do like being able to see the orange ceiling through the top one, but should probably at least use clear glass. See, the problem, though, 
with putting glass in there is that these are all stairs. So we could go my silk touch axe out. So it kind of ends up looking like this. Which I don't think is great. We would get like a couple. We would get two more in here and that's it. Uh, I'm the last one. There it is. You can make them colorful, but that doesn't seem that so. That doesn't seem that wonky. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think it's gonna look wonky, whatever we do, just because there's going to be gaps, and that was something I was trying to avoid with the glass. That's why I didn't do like arched windows on any of these or Persephone. Um, yeah, she's back. What if rather than being circular windows, what if we did okay let's take oh no these are they're square. They're a double one. That's not going to work the way I wanted it to. Un mm. Dang it. Once again, I am foiled by chunks being an even number across. It doesn't solve the stairs problem at the top. What if... Now, what does this get us? Um, Stop trying to chew on my headphones, your precious baby. Maybe glass in the square bit with an open window on top? Uh, I was trying to see if I could get anything. Is, is this anything? I don't know.
Ow. It's not? Yeah, I don't... I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. It does kind of look like a flower, yeah. It, it adds visual interest. Kind of space invadery. It kind of is. Well, I tell you what, it's nine thirty. So I'm probably going to log off. I just want to see what this looks like from back here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe if we repeat that pattern on the back side here, I think it'll look good. I think that's actually a problem for um, Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. I love how it's all stone brick, but it doesn't feel oppressive because there's so much open space to it. You know, with with the Clara story, with the windows, and uh, it's all lit up fairly well. Got a screenshot of the kitty. The one thing I definitely found when I was building the Nether Abbey... Um, is you get a lot out of uh, nether bricks. You being able to make both walls and fences with nether brick, which you can't do with stone brick. Hello, percent. And then I'm definitely going to need to hang lights in it. I think I definitely want a couple hanging uh, lanterns uh, coming down the center of it there. And then I'm going to repeat this pattern on the far side. So it's even. I could maybe even put slabs across there. Would that work? So then we sort of have like an arch and these two things down here. This is a stair I could take out or I could. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, I, I want to do this. I know I said I was going to log off. I, I lied. I lied because I had a flash of inspiration. So what if we go... I want to get this idea down. Take you out. And then take you out. And then go like that. Like that. Is 
Is that better? Do we like that better? I'm not sure. Hmm, okay. I think you like the first one better. Yeah. Well, what if we take out... Now. Not you on the flatness of that line. Yeah, no, yeah. It feels a little better. What if, what if we just go all the way here and go this? How do we feel about this chat? I kind of like this. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to sleep on this. And if I sleep on this, I'm going to come back to it in a few days. But I wanted to get some ideas down. So I'm going to take another screenshot of this. So we have a bunch of records. And now I'm going to go to bed. I don't love the two squares when everything else has steps. This is true. Although it is technically steps. <laughs> It's more like we don't do that kind of thing in real life feel, and that's why aesthetically it feels wonky. I guess. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, thank you all so much for hanging out. This was a lot of fun. We got a lot of great work done. Um, we can raid Matt. We can raid Matt. This is true. Matt doesn't get ice cream. <laughs> So we're going to go raid Matt. So uh, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I'm going to be back on Tuesday. We're going to keep working on that build. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. All right. Have a good night, chat. I'll see you on Tuesday.